Hi there, Moss and Bit fans, I'm Bit, and today I'm taking you through bypassing another combination padlock. This time we won't even need any tools to open the lock, so anyone can try this at home. The technique I'll show you works on a lot of different combination locks, especially bike locks. In this video, I'll give you a demo of the techniques and show you inside the lock so you know why this technique works. Let's do this. I thought I'd try something different for this video and show you a demo first. This way you can see the technique I'm using so when I show you inside the lock it's easier to understand how and why this bypass works. Here goes. To perform this attack you need to put constant tension on the shackle. You can pull up with your hands but it's way easier to attach it to something and just pull down. All you need to do is start with the last letter of the combination and move one by one up to the first. Pulling down lightly on the lock, turn the dial. You will know when you find the right letter because it will stick and you won't be able to move it again. When we look at the parts inside, you see it doesn't have any false gates. False gates are in some locks to trick you into looking at the wrong letter and thinking you have the right code. We did find on this lock that sometimes it does catch on the wrong letter. Good thing it seems to stick between two letters so you can tell it's wrong. You release tension a bit. Move the dial on to the next letter, apply tension again and keep going. As each dial sticks, move up to the next one. Eventually you will get the last one and open the lock will pop. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's take a look at the inside of the lock so we can see how this attack works. So here is the inside of the lock. How great is the combination I set? You have the usual parts like the shackle. You also have the dials which turn gears underneath that you can't see in this picture. And finally you have the core which runs through the centre. The core is the bit that moves to unlock the shackle, which means you can't trim the shackle. In the last video, the shackle went through the centre of the dials, so when the dials were in the correct position, the shackle slid up. In this lock, you can see the shackle is actually to the side of the dials and the core holds the shackle in place. Here is the core and shackle removed. The core is actually two pieces, one that slides inside the other. When unlocked, the centrepiece can slide up, which lets the shackle slide up and open. If you look at the core, you will see there are three vertical rows of little bumps. Two rows are on the outside piece of the core, and one row is in the inside piece of the core. These are also arranged in five horizontal rows, one row for each of the letter dials. These bumps are what stops the core sliding unless all the dials are in the right place. Here is one of the gears. These fit over the core and then the dial fits over the gear. You can see three little channels cut out of the gear. The three vertical rows of bumps on the core slide through these three channels when the dial is in the right position. If all five dials and gears are in the right position, the centre of the core can slide upwards, taking the shackle with it and opening the lock. So how does our bypass technique work? When you pull up on the shackle, you are trying to pull the centre of the core up. This forces the bumps against the inside of the gears. When you rotate a dial, when it gets to the right letter, the gear is aligned and the core slides a tiny bit upwards. This is enough so the dial can't move anymore and it's strapped and the next gear gets all the pressure. Just repeat until all the gear is in line with the bumps. The core slides and it's opened. If you want to learn more lock picking techniques, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Also give us a thumbs up if you liked it. We would love to hear from you so please leave us a message in the comments. Until next time, have fun lock picking and we'll be back soon with another lock bypass.